I've been following you, man. I follow you. I see what's going on. I post some of your stuff on my page. Wow. Thank you, man. Stuff like that. But, man, I just I just love it. I'm looking at all the gifts and the people. <laughs> what up, though? How y'all feeling up in there? That's How right. How y'all feeling? Yeah, Detroit. They know. Let's go. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Listen, this this is lit. Yeah, right? for they, sure. Y'all still saying that? Yeah, we, we'll stay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that, word, that word is current here. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay, that good. word is current I'll, here. I'll be out of style in a second. <laughs> Me I'll, too. I'll say something. Yeah. Like Gucci. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'll dating, like, my, I'm I'm dating myself all the time. They know. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's a mess because words go out of style so quick. Yeah, they do. Everything turns. So, I mean, we we made words like hip and cool. Yeah, 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 for you know, sure. Cool. Can you dig it? Yeah, and yeah, for sure. That's for 30 years. <laughs> that, it's true. Now, man, you say something. Now, what's the, the newest one? The standing on business? Is that what it is? I, you know what? I'm the, the literalist in me. Won't allow me to say that. Phrase. I can't understand I can't because understand. I'm, I'm like, do I need to take my articles of incorporation <laughs> and print them out of, and then stand, stand on, on them? them? Like, because that's literally standing on business that's where it. I'm from. That's it. Yeah. See, we had to work handling like, business. I'm handling business. Yeah, I'm handling, yeah, yeah, handling, yeah, business. I'm handling my business. Hand yeah, that, that, that's a that. more literal thing. That's it. That's it. Because we come, we come from the we taking care of business. That's right. TCB. Take, yeah, that's and right. We had the song that went with you, it. You you took the words out of my mouth. Oh, I'm man. like, we even had songs about that. Old school days. How yeah. y'all feeling up here? I see the Detroit line. Man, I love this. What you got? got look at this. Look at the, what you call that. The people right there. Uh, Discord. Uh, Discord. Discord. Yeah. Discord yeah. Community. Our Discord. Our Discord community. They got all the stuff, bro. Man, I'm loving all of they'll, that. They'll keep us all entertained for a very long time. <laughs> them side eyes. <laughs> that little baby. That little baby. That little baby with them, them side eyes. eyes it, it got to me. She had the most milky white <laughs> eyes I have ever seen. It was the most adorable picture. They putting up Detroit Lions Come for on. you. Yep, that's nah, right. They, this is it. Yeah, we loving it. We loving it. <laughs> hey, oh, my man right there. I love him right there. Uh, uh, Jinko Bell. Detroit Jinko versus Bell. everybody. Jinko all the way. Yeah, of course. Oh, you the top. That's it. That's it right there. <laughs> hey, Mr. Microphone. Yep. Man, y'all lit up in this box. <laughs> Detroit versus they got that everybody. Baby. They brought the baby back. They brought that baby Man, back. This is he brought that baby back. Yo. That's what I'm talking about. You catch something like that. That girl going to be 40 years old like this mm -hmm. is still using her own gift. <laughs> me. I love it. Mm -hmm. Bro, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, man. I I don't even know where to start with you, honestly. Well, well, you well, well, okay. So so let me to to just to ingratiate uh uh young Timmy. Yeah. Right. Um. Your music. I, I'm a lyricist. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. So I hear words first, and I hear music second. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Some people are like it's just a beat for me, and don't even know that the. The artist is like, eat dog food, eat dog food, <laughs> eat dog food, right? So I would notice that first, right? I'd be like, right. that. I don't care how banging that track is. Your boy's trying to make you eat dog food, right? Yeah. You, you, you have had a, you have had a heavy pen, sir. Man, amen. I, I reserve. King will tell you, I don't, I don't use that word lightly. You, you got a heavy pen. Man. You've always had this heavy pen. Where were you? when you were writing those songs where 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 was your headspace what were you going through because you don't just come out of the room yeah writing yeah. that kind of stuff uh, yeah. i know that's kind of general i'm not even going on specific songs yeah. but i'm just talking about that era for you mm. where were you well you know it has to start at the beginning i i didn't know when when Ray Hammond, my father, mm -hmm. he was the like the nicest dude you ever want to meet. He took my mom and me in. Wow. All right, all right. <laughs> he took my mom and me in because my mom had a situation. Okay. Yeah. I was born through a situation. Through a situation. Yeah, I understood. Absolutely. And I'm speaking to all the situations out there. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And he was the kindest guy. And he took me and my mom in. He never treated me like a stepchild. How old were you? I must have been three or four. And I remember wow. living in the apartment, a one-bedroom apartment where they slept over there in a twin, and I slept in a twin in one room. I could still see it. Um, this is the nicest dude. 
and he worked at uh, Eight Mile and Mound. He was a Chrysler Dodge Trucks in Detroit. And he took care of his family. Mm. And I remember the day that he adopted me. Now, it came back to me because I never knew anything about all of this stuff yeah. until much, much, much in my 30s. Wow. But I now remember going to court. And they were just in court. And, you know, and then finally the judge called me up and said, hey, Freddie, uh, what's your name? I said, Fred. He said, people call you Freddie? I said, yeah. And man, three, four years old. He said, um, how you doing? You know, what, what grade you in? And I was just getting ready to go to the kindergarten. He goes, I'm going to the kindergarten, <laughs> not kinder. <laughs> Kenny. Kenny, this is Kenny good. Kenny keeping it good. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to the Kenny garden. Yeah. <laughs> exactly and, what it was. And he said, oh, good, good, good. He said, uh, where is your mother? He said, right there. He said, good, good. He said, you want a, you want a lollipop? You know, he pulled out a sucker. And I remember it because it was a green sucker and it had like a noose. <laughs> that's what I remember. It was a loop oh, in, in the sucker. It was a loop yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an old sucker. That's an old. One. That, that's an old sucker right there. But in court, you yeah. really got to think about it. that's a noose. <laughs> <laughs> like who you get these to? That's and, wild. I never thought about that. And he said, "You got a girlfriend?" I said, "No." That's I'm only funny. five years old. <laughs> right, right, years. right, right, right. He said, "Hey, where's your father?" I'm like, "He right there." He said, "Okay, good." Wow. And he was just seeing where I was in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was not different. He was my dad. Yeah, for sure. Period. Yeah, absolutely. And he took me and my mom in, and, and that's where we started. Wow. Now, he wasn't a big, like, Pentecostal fan. Yep, understood. But he loved Baptists. Absolutely. He for loved sure. Baptists. Yep. We went to uh, Morningstar Baptist Church in Mount Clemens, Michigan, C.L. Clayball. Rebbin. Yes, sir. Rebbin. Rebbin. He liked that church. Mm -hmm. He didn't like my uncle's church, which is an apostolic church. He oh, like that Holy Rose. Yeah, like that. yeah, 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 for sure. But at that time, I felt something. And my mother didn't tell me anything about God, but I felt something. Something, man. I just, there was this dude yeah. up there. Yep. And he had this big chair, and he had a lot of muscles, but he had a big, long, gray beard. Wow. That's all I had. Yeah, so yeah, somewhere yeah, yeah. between Santa Claus <laughs> and, and Hercules. It, it, yeah, yeah. I was about to say Zeus. <laughs> Zeus, yes. yeah, yeah, exactly. See, I hadn't hit Zeus. It right, was right, Hercules. Right. Was it was Hercules, there. exactly. The muscles of Hercules Period. and the beard of Santa. The beard of Santa. Yeah, yeah, I got you. And, I mean, if you did something wrong, he zap you. Mm, that's if Zeus. If you did something right, he'd give you a... He'd give you a, a, a lollipop little, with a yeah, noose. Something, a noose. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, i never forget, man, but I had this thing going on inside of me that there was this calling, and my mother didn't explain anything mm. because she was apostolic, but she would go to the Baptist church because of my dad. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, I never forget there was this church on the east side of Detroit. My cousins, Butchie and I, and Brian and Dave and Ray, uh, they, they they had nicknames back then. Mm -hmm. But we there was this church we passed, and it had steps going up to the door and then down on each side. Interesting. Now, as we're walking... I didn't know anything about this God thing. Yep. I made us stop at the door and take our hands, put them over our heart, walk up the steps, turn to the door, and bow to the door, walk down the steps, and read the cornerstone. 1942, Pastor So-and-So, New Covenant Baptist Church, just that another. And that was what we did. And wow. that was my church. Wow. And we would go on off to get some candy. Yep. And then we'd come back and do the same thing again. Well, wow. Crazy thing about it was when bullies was chasing us from the store, we still did it. Like, they was coming. And we like, you still 1945. That's hilarious. <laughs> but that was my thing because I felt like something was. Yeah. You felt the connection. I yeah. felt the connection with yeah. some, this guy. Yeah. And I wanted to have this conversation I wanted to tell people about him. Yep. And I didn't know, know nothing about it. Yeah. Until the day that my mother witnessed to me. Mm. I'm coming home from football practice, West Side Cubs, uh, Pee Wee, I mean, Pal League. And my mother was like, she had been mad at God because Ray had died three years prior. Oh, man. 32 years old. Wow. Cancer of the bowel. <sighs> and she's now 30. Six, 
and she she went on strike. She didn't cuss God out. She didn't. Do, she just. I'm not going to church no more. Wow. I never saw her say a bad word about God. But we didn't got. I would get up the first couple of mornings and see if we was going to church. And finally, I got used to you know yeah. being able to watch Davy and Goliath. Right, right, all the little, <laughs> exactly. Little, Just little stay cartoons. home. Yeah. And then one day, how we, old were you? Part of my time, interruption. Yeah. At that time, when he died, I was eight. Okay. And when she said I wanted to go back to, she, she said we're gonna go back to church. I was eleven. Got it. Yep. So understandable. And it's so understandable. She, she's like, she's taking me home, and she's like, we're gonna start going back to church. And I'm like, okay. We're living in Detroit now. And she's like, we haven't been going. And so there are some things we're not going to do on Sundays until after five. One of them is we're not going to listen to any soul music, mm. like which is R&B. Mm-hmm. But before it was R&B, it was soul. Right, 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 for sure. Because um, we used to get up on the Sunday morning and just get it popping. Yeah, for sure. You know. Yep. And she said she was getting back to her apostolic like, now. Getting back, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here yeah, we go. That's what that's what was happening. <laughs> and we're on our way home, and I felt this heaviness coming. And I'm sitting there. And I can remember what the sky looked like. It was the fall. I can remember it was cloudy, but still sunny. And she was talking to me, and I was sitting in the front. And she said, "We're going to we're going to go back to church now, mm-hmm. and uh, we're going to." And she witnessed to me about God. At that point, she told me who God was. She told me about the death, burial, mm. and resurrection. Mm. And the, the way a kid's mind re- did that. Yep. I remember watching King of Kings and asking her about it. And she thought I was too young. But she witnessed it. She said, our sins, and she, she witnessed. And you're coming to the age of accountability. You're going to have to oh. start thinking about getting baptized. And you're going to really start having to really turn your life, give it over to God. And. And man, this heaviness, she said, we, and the thing I remember the most is she, she witnessed in such a soft manner how bad we did God, mm. how bad we did the Lord and how they beat him because of what we did. Mm. And I didn't notice, dude, all I knew is I just felt this weight and this heaviness, just, oh my God. I mean, you know, the, like you walk in, you just. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, one thing about my mom's house is that you don't go in her room. Understood. Now, in, yeah. in, in this day and age, you know, kids do what they want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you do not go in my mother's room right. for any reason. For, unless for sure. you're beckoned. Right, right, right. Absolutely. You come to the front <laughs> and you stand at the door. That's right. With your hands in a position of <laughs> humbleness. We talk about humble. <laughs> humble, you stand there. And That's you right. don't cross the little uh-uh, threshold. No, the carpet. you don't. Nope. No, 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 no. If no, the carpet no, no. turned green, you wrong. That's right, exactly. You stay where it's red. <laughs> You it's wrong. facts. It's facts. And I, I, I never forget, you know, she, she would call us in. You know, you can come on in and you don't get on her bed. You sit on the oh, floor. Oh, for sure. You sit on the floor. You watch TV if she lets you in there. But, yep. you know, don't. It's sacred. It's yeah, for sure. Ground. Absolutely. And I didn't see a bunch of dudes traipsing in and out that room. Yeah. See, that's one yeah. thing I knew about it. Yeah, for sure. Bunch, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, when I got out of the room, she said, I would take you to church tonight but I have to go somewhere. But they have the second coming of Christ called the rapture. And that's when she got into it. I'm like, oh, oh I, when he was born in a manger? Right, said, right. No, 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 she, no, not that. She said, no, I'm, I'm, it's, 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 no, it's different. And that's when she starts saying, he, one day he's coming back. Mm. He's only going to take people that love him and are saved again, born again, and this, that, and that. And she never preached to me. She just talked like, she was repenting at yeah. the same time, like, I'm sorry, Lord, for keeping my boys out of here. Yeah, yeah. And she never really looked at me. She just kept driving. And as she talked, she flowed. And she said, but we're going to start going back. You're going to go to Sunday school. And the, one day the Lord is going to crack the sky. Mm. And if you're not ready, man, it's, it's going. she talked to me and said, that's what this movie is about. When I got out the car, I went in the house with my brothers, and they went, they was younger. And they went into the, their room, and I, I sat on the edge of the bed, and I th- contemplated, where can I go mm. to apologize to this dude? <laughs> I got to apologize, and my room is not sufficient. So I went in her room. I broke the threshold. She was gone. And I got on my knees, and I said, 
I stole today some Lord have mercy. <laughs> I, I stole today. I stole a bunch of Nile ladies and I was cussing on the playground. <laughs> I said a lot of bad words today. You probably heard them. <laughs> and I'm crying. I am crying and I'm on my knees and I said, Next thing I know, I hear the words, and it was it was light when it, when I was in there. It was dark when I heard these voices. This voice said, "Frederick," and I woke up, and I real look where I was at, and I'm like, "Oh, this is bad. What you doing in here?" And my mother was quick with the, you know. If you did something, she mm-hmm. gonna get you right on the spot. Right, right, She's right, not gonna right. wait and then right. no, yeah, she yeah, gonna get sure. you on the spot. Yeah. I prepared for impact because I was in her room. <laughs> no, no, I, I prepared for it because I, I I disobeyed. Yeah, her yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You broke through the veil. And 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 the <laughs> thing was, my knees was on fire because I had been down on them so long. At wow. Eleven years old, I, wow. I'd been down on them so long. Wow. And I got up and I stood and I just walked to the door. And let's take it. At least I got that over. Yeah, yeah, for I, sure. I, something is clean about this. Yeah. She must have saw me first on my knees. Yeah. And she said, what are you doing? I didn't answer. I said, nothing. She said, go to bed. And that was it. Yeah. That's where I met God. When she she did what she did to me and said what she said to me. That's the moment I received the Lord into my life. And the rest of the journey started like, what am I going to be doing? I, my calling was uh, was open the day that she did it. Yeah, for sure. And from that day, I felt like, see, I, I don't have the gift that you would. Like, I can talk like this yes, all sir. day long. Absolutely. That's why I'm not a pastor yeah, yeah, of understood. the church. Understood. Because unless I can say this, and you, when I see you stuff, I say, man, I might be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't have this thing that says, and God, and I don't change yeah. my voice. Yeah, and yeah, for sure. I knew I was supposed to do something for him. Yeah. I was supposed to do something for him. And my boy, uh, one of my guys, his name is Leon Pryor in, in school. He was Jehovah's Witness and some other guys. They would, they would say, y'all don't go door to door. Y'all don't preach. Y'all, don't, y'all, who, y'all say y'all go to church. Mm. Y'all don't even go door to door. And I felt ashamed about that mm. because I could not have that one-on-one with people mm-hmm. like about who God was. I didn't know enough. I didn't have the, I couldn't talk well enough. Mm-hmm. But when I found out I could sing, and I, I exposed myself to the world Yeah, at a party. Wow. My best friend, we would go, his name is Jeff Stanton. I would go down in his basement after school every day, and he would teach me the real way to do music. In a basement? In a basement. I mean, paneling walls. He played every instrument. He played drums. He played bass. He played this, and he would clap out stuff for me. He'd be like, okay, I'm going to teach you how to read, man. Now, this is how you do. One, two, three, one, one, two. Okay, clap that out. What's it done? Now this is a whole note. <clears throat> Two, three, four. And he, we. This is my best friend. He's teaching me music. He's teaching me. He's showing me artists. He's saying, "Hey man, this is Michael Frankson. Check him out. And this is Herbie Hancock. And check this. This is Mr. McDonald. And and we just listened to music in his basement. He'd go and he could play every instrument. And he told me about this one dude. He said, "Man, this guy right here, he gonna be something. He plays every instrument and sing all his parts. His name is Prince." And we would listen to Prince records, and we would he would give me theory in his basement. Wow! And I would play bass, and then I would jump on drums. He played piano, and we just switch up. And then when I found out, he took me to a we went to a party, a church party, and he knew I could sing. And he always said, "Man, you gotta you gotta sing." I was too bashful to sing. Mm. I was too bashful. My mother told me when she heard me one time. And she heard me mimicking Michael Jackson. Uh, I'll be there or something. She said, mm-hmm. you know, you sing good as that boy <laughs> if you open your mouth. <laughs> and when she heard, when I heard that she heard me, I packed up my clothes and play, and I took it upstairs in my closet, and I determined you'll never hear me again because you're wow. going to try to make me get up in front of people and sing. Wow. And I would go in my closet, shut the door, and I would sing 
Michael Jackson, Jermaine, and Stevie, and all this stuff. And if somebody came up the step, I'd stop. I didn't want to do it. And we went over to a party, and he was playing the guitar, and all the people was at the party was at the church, and it was, a, it was man, it was just happening. And, and my, my pastor's son and his daughters and everybody, it was, the house was packed. He said, Fred could see. He won't, but he can. Wow. And he challenged me to. And I got up there. He said, he started playing my favorite song. Bleed, 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 doom, bling. Doom, blown, 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 doom, blown. And I said nothing. I, I, I froze. He said, oh, man, don't be no chump. And they all said, I knew it. And then the next time he did it, I see us in the park, holding a summer my People dropped forks and <laughs> knives and plates. Red, it was, it was a house party, number one. So you imagine, if you can put 100 people in this room. Right. That's right, right, what right. Was, I don't want to bore you with. And when I went that time, I did not stop. I lit that place up. And then people lost their mind. And that's the moment I said, if you let me, I'll do this for you because I can't talk like everybody else. But I can sing and I'll tell people, I'll tell the world about you if you let me. And that's when I said, that's what I'm going to do.